Python tutorial Autoregressive Integrated Moving Average Models. Autoregressive Integrated Moving Average, or RMA models, consist of specifying conditional mean of a process. They are stochastic or random models specified as some of deterministic simple or multiple linear relationships with lag level or differentiated dependent or explained variables, stochastic or random simple or multiple nonlinear relationships with lag level or differentiated model errors, and a constant mean or drift. This topic is part of advanced forecasting models with Python Curse. Feel free to take a look at Curse curriculum by clicking link at the description box below. This tutorial has an educational and informational purpose and doesn't constitute any type of forecasting, business, trading or investment advice. Please read full tutorial disclaimer at the end of this video. An example of ARM model is a differentiated first order autoregressive model which consists of difference forecast equal to deterministic simple linear relationship with previous period data difference plus a constant drift. Its ARM notation has one autoregressive order, one order of differentiation or integration, and zero moving average order. Notice that this ARM is with a constant. As a formula, Current period forecast is equal to a constant drift plus previous period's data plus an autoregressive coefficient multiplied by the difference between previous periods minus second previous period's data. Great. So let's go into Python PyCharm IDE so that we can study differentiated first order autoregressive model with greater detail. Excellent. So here we are with on PyCharm ID. The first step within the tutorial is to do packages importing. So we're going to import pandas spd, then stats models.tsa, time series analysis, state space, sarimax, sarima, and then matplotlib.pyplot.spld. The next step is to create our data variable for this tutorial through data reading. So we do so here by creating spy equals to pd or pandas.read underscore csb. Then we have the path to the data file within data directory and data file named arma models data as a plain text file with .csv or comma separated values. Index column as date and we'll parse those dates as true. So let's go into that data file. As we can see, we have a plain text file with .csv or comma separated values. This data has two columns, date and SPY adjusted. SPY corresponds to the ETF investment vehicle which intends to replicate the Standard & Poor's 500 index. Adjusted because this includes adjusted close prices which were adjusted for dividends and splits. Notice that this data has a daily frequency and it's from the beginning of 2007 all the way into the end of 2015, therefore 9 years of data. So let's go back into the code file. After we read the data, what we're doing next is we are converting its frequency to a pandas frequency, and we do so by overriding SPY and as frequency equals to capital B for a business calendar. Important observation about that business calendar is that pandas business calendar has more observations than the data included within that corresponding data file. Therefore, we do a fill non-available with the method of forward fill. After that, we continue to do our training and testing ranges delimiting. Training range is commonly used for optimal parameters estimation, and testing range is commonly used for forecasting accuracy evaluation. So we create these two variables, SPYT, T for training range, SPYF, F for testing range. And from the previously created SPY, we are going to delimit the training range from the beginning of the time series all the way into the end of 2013. Therefore, we'll be using the first seven years of data. And for the testing range, it's from the beginning of 2014 all the way to the end of the time series, therefore the last two years of data. Notice that this training and testing ranges delimiting was only included for educational purposes, therefore it can be modified according to your needs. So once we've created our data, 
object and the limited training and testing ranges, we can continue with ARMA models. The specific case with a differentiated first order autoregressive model with its ARMA notation with one autoregressive order, one order of differentiation or integration, C removing average order, and C because it has a constant or intercept. So the first step is we are going to estimate the corresponding model parameters within the training range. That's why we create this variable named DAR1 for differentiated first order autoregressive T because we're working within the training range. And we'll be using SARIMAX feature from stats models and its SARIMAX function all with capitals. The data we'll be using SPYT, the one for the training range. The order for the corresponding ARMA model is 110, trend equals to C as it has a constant drift and fit with display minus one so that it doesn't print all the corresponding model fitting. And then we're going to do a forecast within this testing range. So we are going to create a new variable named DAR1F and from the previously estimated model DAR1T we're going to forecast and this is going to be a multi-step forecast which is done at the beginning of the testing range for the full testing range in advance using the parameters previously estimated within the training range and not using any of the data within that corresponding testing range. Therefore we do so for the steps equals to the length of the testing range or SPYF. And next we're going to visualize this within a chart. We do so with fig or figure one comma ax or axis equals to plt.sopplots. Within this axis we're going to add the following with plot first spyt training range data with its corresponding label spyf testing range data with its label and then we're going to add that corresponding multi-step forecast dar1f with its corresponding label the legend located at the upper left, the title of the chart as differentiated first order autoregressive with its RMA notation, Y label or vertical axis label as price, X label or horizontal axis label as date, and we show the chart. Excellent. So let's go ahead and run this code file. As I've already done it before recording this video tutorial, the name of the corresponding file is already there. So we just go ahead and click run. Perfect. So that opens the running console. We'll briefly visualize the corresponding chart. Excellent. So here we have the differentiated first order autoregressive with its corresponding RMA notation. And as mentioned, on the vertical axis, we have price on the horizontal one we have dates and then according to their legends we have first of all colored in blue that's the training range colored in orange that's the testing range and then colored in green we have the differentiated first order autoregressive model multi-step forecast this multi-step forecast was done using the parameters previously estimated within the training range and it was done at the beginning of the testing range for the full testing range in advance and without using any testing range data. Excellent. So now that we finished studying the differentiated first order autoregressive model, let's go back into the slides. And as mentioned previously, this tutorial has an educational and informational purpose and doesn't constitute any type of forecasting, business, trading or investment advice. Please pause the video now so you can read the full tutorial disclaimer. Okay, so with this, we finish this tutorial. Thank you for watching.